I'm Karuna Schmidtmann and I'm a visual artist and part of my practice is community arts and I like to use art to bring people together. So uh, Walkerville Council and I got together to start this project with children and in what could potentially be a difficult place to bring art and children together, a cemetery. So the cemetery is right beside the school, so it means something to them. For this project, we came up with an ephemeral art uh, idea. Uh, ephemeral art, for those who don't know, is art that is more about its making than the end product. Going by that idea of cemeteries being about ashes to ashes, we, we come and we go, um, ephemeral art was very, very applicable and apt. The children at St. Andrew spoke to the historical committee. They told them about who was in the cemetery and the work that they do. It gives them an overview of people's lives, but it also helps them to understand it's a, almost like a book of life. We learnt that there are very important people from around Adelaide that are buried there. One was Harry. Um, he was the first policeman to die in action. On the first telephone, buried here in the What is a cemetery for? Is it just to walk through with your dog? Is it a shortcut to the shops? Uh, do you ever think about why and who and how those people got there? how long the cemetery has been there. So these are all questions that through our art project, we're getting people to look at. We thought about the kids that come to this school and the kids that are buried in the cemetery and how uh, they could be introduced to each other, if you will. So I thought there were gonna be only a couple of children, but there were actually like quite a few. A lot of people there were children and they were all like a few months old and not many had made it to one year old and it was kind of sad. They've probably died because of um, diseases because they didn't exactly have the right medical services at that time. We decided as a uh, homage to them or to remember them we would make lanterns. So that's why I'm at St Andrews today because I'm making lanterns with all the kids. Today we've been learning symbolism and we've been putting it into lanterns that we're going to hang up around the cemetery. My lantern, um, I went for things that were made people feel happy or bright. It's been a fantastic project, there's been some very interesting conversations and um, they're really loving their project. I think they might struggle with this being ephemeral because usually when you make art you keep it. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and uh, so they might not love the idea that they put all this work into it and they're gonna put it outside and the, a lantern might get wrecked. But uh, that's life, that's art, that's ephemeral art. I'm hoping whatever happens out of this that members of the community talk to each other, have fun together, and if it's art that brings them together, that makes me really happy. Walking through the Wes Walkerville Wesleyan Cemetery is a history lesson come to life. I'd like to think it's a who's who of people and families who shaped early South Australian society. I hope this exhibition will encourage people of all ages to discover or rediscover this historic gem in the heart of Walkerville for themselves. It's now my great pleasure to officially open the 2018 Sala Exhibition brought to life.